Hello, hello everybody, and welcome to the brand new series of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul modded. That's right everyone, there actually is a mod for this game, and we are going to enjoy it. So yeah, we're going to delete the test file I made, and uh, the mod is changing visuals, changing backgrounds, changing characters, and adding new cards into the game. Now, I'm not saying brand new cards, I'm saying cards that were supposed to be added into the game a long time ago, but, or, or, but they took them out, and now they're back in. Also, the game has been modded to always be on turbo mode, so you no longer have to hold the R button, and a lot of character uh, portraits got updated, so I'm very excited to play this game. So, first things first, oh, and you could also do a bunch of other stuff, like you can mod in, or not mod in, but you could like skip and get some characters unlocked instantly, and you can, uh, you can unlock all cards at one point. I'm not going to do that at first, as I do want to just, you know, show you guys the game, as a lot of people did not see my original Let's Play, but here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Eternal Duel of Soul modded. Last time I did pick the green deck, so this time I'm gonna pick black or red. I think we're gonna go with red. You know, it's the most basic one. My channel's background is red, so why not? Now you're ready to duel, but before you start, make sure you take a close look at your deck. She's not wrong. I'm not gonna lie. Taya Gardner is great at giving you an assistance here. This is a very old game. I'm talking like 2001, and it's for the Game Boy Advance, so yeah. Um, this is the deck we're gonna start with. Let's see, how do I... I haven't played this game in freaking forever, so... Uh, you know, forgive me if I don't remember how to sort or anything like that. Um... A to Z is how we have it right now. This... Okay, we have 25 normal monsters, one effect monster, nine magic cards, and five trap. That's right, this game was invented back when it was still magic cards. So, yeah, look at all of this. Oh, we got Change of Heart to start the game. That's great. Harpy Lady, yeah. We got King of Yama Makai. I like that. Magic Jammer. Maneater Bug is our one effect monster. That's a good one. If you have to have one effect monster back in 2001, let it be that. Rageki already? Oh, my God. Snatch Steel already? Oh, man. I'm going to knock these guys out. Summon Skull. My God. Okay, I definitely picked the right deck. This deck is going to be good. We're going to be going into campaign mode, and to start it off, we're actually going to start with... I would say, last time I started with Tristan, this time I'm going to start with Taya Gardner. You really want to duel with me? Me? Wow, okay. I'm going to make you sorry you ever met me. I, honestly, you will. If, you ever, everyone, if anyone has ever watched my Master Era series, you know she's damn good. So if you're playing this game normally, you need to hold the R button, by the way just so that you can get turbo duels if you're playing the modded version like me. As you can see, the backgrounds have changed, the life points have changed, everything is basically different now. Um, and it's pretty easy to get where you need to go. So let's go ahead and set up a trap hole. Okay. Uh, am I in visual mode right Oh, I have to draw a card. Whoops. <laughs> I, got, I forgot I got to press R to draw a card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set trap hole, set magic jammer, get ready to use monster born. We do not have a tribute monster to start. The Harpy Lady has good defense, so we're going to use it. And yes, we're actually using Harpy Lady for her defense, as the first part of this game is uh, relatively easy when it comes to stats. And yeah, she's doing good. Harpy Lady will take the attack, and we do ba damage back to Fairy Dragon. Alright, on end phase, I draw. Ooh, Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie, that's cool. Uh, I'm going to start with Horn Imp, as he's one of our better attackers. And then I'm going to put Harpy Lady in attack mode, because her attack is pretty good too. I'm hoping to draw one of my tribute monsters soon, but let's just go ahead and go in. So anyone playing this game right now, you probably have very different visuals than I do. This game looks different because I'm doing the modded version. Um, it's a lot more basic backgrounds, but that's so the game actually runs better. And then they have cleaner visuals, like cleaner life points, cleaner uh, stats, everything's a lot nicer. And because the backgrounds are a lot more basic rather than just a revolving one, or uh, what it does instead is when they play field spells, the field spells will change the background. It's very basic still, the person who put work into this. Uh, Man-Eater, yeah, this one's all right. Let's go with, and this is not Mayor Bud, this is the Plant Man-Eater, yes. Um, you know, there's still some basic stuff we can show off, but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use my Blue-Eyed Silver Zombie. Nothing wrong with that monster. We're gonna put Horn Imp to work by taking out the opponent's monster. Life is good. But yeah, the person who's been, mo oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's gonna be a problem. The person that's been modding this game, I want to say thank you personally. Um, I don't know if you like having your name out there, so I'm not going to say it, but I will leave a link to their work 
in the description below if you want to play the game modded yourself. So I'm going to go ahead and use Trap Hole really quick. With Trap Hole, I'm going to pop the opponent's monster, which is B-E-A beautiful. Then we already got this. Thank God for Trap Hole. That Trent would have put us in a bad spot. You know what? I'll summon the Man Eater. Why not? Let's use Man Eater. And I could Monster Born Trent. It's actually probably worth it, especially in this old school Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't worry, as the game goes on, there are a ton more effect monsters. I believe this game goes up to Labyrinth of Nightmare. Is that 2001? Maybe. I don't know. It's it's pretty it's pretty advanced uh, when you get down to it. It just seems basic at first because it is. It's 2001. Uh, but there are some cool cards that you'll remember and recognize. So I can't wait to show those off. But for now, let's just enjoy doing our battling. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. Wow, Warrior, that's not bad, actually. I'll take it. Let's just hope she doesn't have another good defense monster, and uh, we'll end this duel. Uh, Wild Warrior's probably got enough attack, so let's get in there. Ah, oh, Magician of Faith, really good card. That might be her one effect monster. Graceful Charity's a, a good card to get back. I gotta give her respect for that. But with a good combo of Harpy Lady and a good combo of Horn Imp and one more attack from the Man Eater, we'll win this duel. So, this game is one of those old Yu-Gi-Oh games that you don't earn money. Instead of earning money, what you do instead is you earn yourself a pack. Oops, I, I lost. I'll ask Yu-Gi to take a look at my deck again. Yeah, I'm sure you will. So, yeah, you earn yourself a pack after every victory. So, every time you duel someone, you basically get 150 and you buy a pack. That's a lot slower than usual, but it's going to be fine. I guess because we beat Tail, we'll start with the Mystical Elf pack. That should be fun. Uh, Urubi! I got it! I got Mystical Elf! I got the card on the pack! Heck yeah! And Urubi is not bad. And we got a Fusion for M Warrior number one and two. Problem is, we don't own a Poly yet. I might be asking you guys in the chat to help me out with that. Also, this is a game just like Tag Force, where there is a calendar system and events do happen. There's the weekly pack that you get. You get one for uh, buying a subscription of a, of a comic book. And there's weekend duels, which are usually pretty intense. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's get back to our campaign and let's uh, duel someone else that's fun. Uh, do I want to save Tristan, Joey? Should we jump into Yugi just to really throw us off? You know what? Before I do that, let's put in the new cards, because we we could definitely use them. I'm not even joking. Let's, yes, Mystical Elf. How do I move you to trunk, or to deck? That's how. All right, and Urby for sure. Urby's going to be so good. Hard Armor is probably not that bad as a, thir a 1,200 defender, but we're going to knock off some cards we do not need. I forgot how to organize my... Yeah, it's been a while since I've played this, so give me a give me a little bit of a break. Uh, let's go with normal monsters by attack points. Yeah, there we go. So this is our normal monsters. I'm going to just knock the weakest cards out. I already had a hard armor, so yeah. He's got 1,400 defense. You are youth. You are useless. I love you, but you're useless. All right, so we're going to go with you. No, how do I... There we go. Sorry, I'm getting used to the controls again. We're going to throw you... I have two of you? Jesus Christ, get out of my deck. Am I... Unable to take... Oh, no, I just don't have it anymore. Oh, okay. It's gotcha. I see. I have to read the bottom now. So, we're going to go back to our campaign. We're going to edit our deck quite a lot in the first episode. But our first thing is to buy Joey Wheeler. I don't know if you noticed, but the game is a little more updated compared to what you may be seeing on your screens if you're playing this on your Game Boys. Alright, first duel. Not bad. Da -da 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 -da. Da, 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 da. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, I just like that sound. Uh, Giant Soldier Stone's a god tier start. Urby's a god tier start. King of Yami Makai when I want it. And my one my one effect monster, Man Eater Bug. I need to pull some more. I already So this game starts you with the best spells and traps, but you have to really build up your monsters. Which is fine, because old Yu-Gi-Oh, for those of you that don't know, is all about making any monster deck you want, any combos you want, and just having solid spells and traps. It looks like Joey here already has a good... Uh, they have fusions, which is really interesting. Fusion monsters were never that valuable, but in this game you can find value in them because they can't get hit by cards like Trap Hole. Speaking of which, I'm going to try my Great White. It's one of my better cards. Graceful Dice, okay. They don't know how to time it, but that's fine. It's an old game. I'm not going to be rude. Let's see what the animation says. A three. Yippee. All right. A three gives them exactly the amount of attack they would want. Um, I might not care. <laughs> I might be willing to go aggressive just because I don't want to leave him a tribute. The only thing he could do to really surprise me is Fuse, so we're just going to go ahead and get him. 
Great White does its job. Yes, we're going to chain. We're going to use Call of the Haunted, which means we actually get to attack with Great White twice. If anything, you played yourself. Uh, what, how do I... Oh, I have to press right. Okay, yep. Like I said, I'm getting back into the game, so just give me a second to re... Re-get the controls down. I do not remember the last time I Let's Played this game. And I do know that I, I'm just so excited to show you guys a modded version where everything's a lot more cleaned up. And there are going to be new cards to show off, which I will get to eventually. When, when I finally get to the new cards, I'll be like, oh yeah, look at that. And there's new card art and stuff. We must kill that monster. That baby dragon needs to die because that could become a thousand dragon. And a thousand dragon can ruin our lives. I would like to summon Summon Skull, but I'm going to start with Urubi because he's my favorite little dino. This guy was a piece of my D to B, from Little D to freaking Black Tyranno. Urubi was the one that really held down the team back in Poke Duel. If you haven't seen our Poke Duel series, I highly recommend you check that out. It was probably a top 10 series on this channel. Um, and I'm not talking about views, I'm just talking about like excitement and just like how much fun it was. Uh, we're going to go ahead and end our turn there. We're going to see how it goes. I don't know if you were noticing, but this game is running way faster thanks to the mod. Like, I'm not getting stuck anywhere. The game's just flowing well. I'm going to go ahead and summon my Summon Skull monster. Sorry, Giant Soldier of Stone. You did a great job. And with Summon Skull, there's no way I can lose unless he has Super Poly. <laughs> In 2001, imagine if someone pulled out Super Poly. Get out of here, baby dragon. You're adorable. It doesn't matter how you win because you don't earn money in this game. Just win the duels. That's all you need to do. And once you win those duels, then uh, get yourself a nice pack. Jeez, I lost. I just don't seem to draw the cards I need at the right time. Yep, that's right. All you need to do is make decks that are a little more balanced. Since we beat Joey, we'll go for the Red Eyes pack. Why not? Giant Mech Soldier. You know what? Just, uh, just because it's a tribute, that's fine. But that's all right. Uh, Barak's no. Fayaro is okay. I could definitely use some of these cards over the ones I already have, so let's uh, yeah, let's get Fariaru into the deck. Let's get Frenzied Panda into the deck. Uh, you know what? We can run a Giant Mech Soldier for now. That's why I love this game. This is an old game where it's like, Giant Mech Soldier, no one would ever run that. And I'm looking you dead in the eye and I'm saying, yeah, I'll run it right now. And it'll have value. It will have that. Oh, no, not by name. I would like to do it by attack points. I'm not really getting any spells and traps, though. That's something I'm going to need to get. So what monsters can I toss? What's my weakest cards? Hard armor? Eh, I don't even think I need it for its defense. So let's uh, let's go over here. Put it in the trunk. Kumo whatever. Maneater. Maneater is probably worse than Kumo whatever. So let's just do that. Miskolf is good. Blue-eyed. Ugh, blue-eyed. Anthrosaurus, that's a Joey card right there. Let's throw you away. All right, we're back to 40 cards. That's good. Going back to the campaign. Dude, do you want to do it in the first episode? You know what? Let's, let's calm down. I don't think I should go after Yugi so soon. Let's go after Tristan Taylor. Hiya, I'm Tristan Taylor. Look at my background monster, Shadow Spectre. Does it scare you? I don't have that much experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sucks. Let's just duel him. All right. Luckily, I'm actually winning the Rock, Paper, Scissors, letting me go first. This is a game where you get to draw six because it's one of the oldest games Yu-Gi-Oh! has to offer. That wasn't Game Boy Color. I already did that game, Dark Duel Stories. Uh, let's just go ahead and set this card up, and I would like to tribute, so starting with Fiend Cracket isn't that bad. A 1400 defender is going to be real solid, just like Harpy Lady. So thank you, Mako, for giving me such a good card. Protector of the Throne, okay. A good defender at this point in the game, but definitely not something you want in attack mode. Probably a misplay on his part. No back row, though, so lucky me. Or a bay, but honestly, I'm already super strong, and I have Magic Jammer to stop any trap or spell cards from killing me. So I'm gonna go straight into Summon Skull. I'll just show them my true power. I know I could Snatch Steel Tribute, but not for that thing. I know I'm gonna get something better later. Yeah, just big damage, beautiful damage. Well, see, who knows? Maybe they'll get a small Magic Jammer or Snatch Steel. But what if they get something like that? Monster aboard? I, you know what? Nah, maybe I'll Snatch Steel my monster back. Who knows? Unless you tribute your own Summon Skull, I'm not freaking dealing with it. Uh, Giant Soldier of Stone is pretty good. Oh, boy. Uh, do I want my own monster? You know what? He's actually worth it. That's 200 more damage than I'm healing them. It's better than a Protector of the Throne, that's for sure. No, I'm not going to Magic Jammer myself, game. Thank you very much. Hey, Fiend Kraken, welcome back to the right side of things. Now, he's already shown a monster with pretty good defense, Protector of the Throne, so I might actually attack with Summon Skull just to play it safe. Nope, it's one of these things. Okay. Get him out of here. We don't need to deal with any of that crap. 
1,500 damage comes through, and another 12. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, this feels good. Feels good getting back into the old stuff. Right now, I'm, I've been playing too many GX games. GX is too much in the future. I need to go back. Back to the past. Oh crap, Cannon Sword Mistress. That's legitimately one of the, the better cards in this tier. I just lost a bunch of life points to it. How dare you? How dare you scratch me? You know what, Great White, get in there. We're gonna devour that girl. And I mean it, you're the one that's gonna do it. I'm gonna have you do it. Urubi could do it too. Great White, gotta get my Mako Tsunami on. Urubi, gotta get my Rex Raptor on. And honestly, everybody owned this card as a kid. Um, if you did play the game as a kid. And Summon Skull, everyone wanted this card as a kid. I have an ultra rare Summon Skull from Metal Raiders right next to me right now as we speak. I'm holding it in my hand, but I'm not gonna show you guys. All right, you're really good. I can't win. I don't duel enough. Yeah, it's fun, but, you know, get better, dude. Uh, it doesn't really matter what pack I get. Let's just get Dark Magician to be different. Let's see. I got no real good spells and traps. Silver Fang is usable, though, so that's fine. Let's go to, real quick. Check out Silver Fang. Uh, Silver Fang. There you are, bud, buddy. And card I'll take out. Simple enough. Go to normal. Go to attack. And scroll on down. This game's so much easier to run now that it's not all laggy and stuff. Claw Reacher or Anthrosaurus? Claw Reacher's worse. It has 50 less defense, and that's what's going to cost him. Alright, sorry, Claw Reacher. Get out of my deck. I'm glad I have Silver Fang, though. Classic Yugi monster. Um, do I even want to duel Yugi today? That'd be scary. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm Bakora Ryo. As the decks appear to be ready, let us begin without, uh, with further, without further ado. Sorry, dude. All right, Bakor is still wearing his necklace, but he's a nice guy right now. He's not feeling any, you know, sinister things. Oh, he's got a fusion deck. What the hell? What kind of fusion monsters are you running? The second I get Polly, I'll start running a fusion deck, but you guys got to help me get Polly. By that, I mean tell me what pack it's in, and I'll just start, you know, spamming that pack. All right. All right. This is going to... I'm going to need some actual participation. We're going to door the explorer this crap. Whoa, he has giant trunade. Holy crap. That's a really good card, but I, I can deal with it for now. Magical Ghost, that's pretty good too, and it makes sense that he runs it. Old Bakora would always run uh, Zombie Fiend cards. Anything like that. Dark Monsters, mostly. Alright, I draw. Call the Haunted's pretty good, speaking of which. Silver Fang, Faryaro, Minishumi Warrior. Ugh, getting rid of that monster is going to really hurt me in the end. It'll still be worth it. Let's go with Minishumi Warrior, just because uh, I want to show off. I know putting my guy in attack mode may not be the smartest idea, but intelligence was never my strong suit, so Minishumi Warrior, get in there. Oh, Minamushi Warrior, sorry. My apologies, I didn't read the card until now. Reading was also not something I was supposed to do. I need to get some effect monsters, where are they? I'm glad I have a Maneater bug, but I haven't even used it yet. This is going to be the first guy I would want to use it on. It's freaking Bakora, guys, he's good. Look at that, he's got Armored Zombie, dude! That's a problem. All right, I'm just going to have to die to it, but it's okay. I can bring back the giant soldier, no problem. All right, I activate. Yeah, Call of the Haunted used to just activate all the time. Not really, just older. Oh, what the hell? Wait, no. It's in the grave. Why can't I choose it? Oh, my God. Are you serious? That was too quick? I see it in the grave. Don't pretend like it's not there. Well, that ruined it. Good to know the speed. To what? <laughs> what? Did the game just glitch? I think the game just glitched. What the? Alright, well, there's glitch number one. If the person who created this mod is seeing this, I'm sure it's not your fault, but even, even if it was your fault, I just want to see let you see your own glitch. There you go. Crawling Dragon number two, thank God for uh, Rex Raptor. If it wasn't for Rex Raptor, I'd be screwed right now. He made this card a popular monster. I gotta destroy this Bones card. Well, Call the Haunted doesn't work on Armored Zombie. That's how I'm gonna play it. We're gonna go with anime rules. Call the Haunted doesn't work against Armored Zombie. Alright, yeah. Thank God I top decked that guy. Lesser Dragon, a little too lesser in my opinion. Uh, let's just go with Fire Yaro. And then... We're going to... Crawling Dragon, just because the last guy had pretty good defense. Magical Ghost. Nope. Oh, wow. 13th Grave. Yep, you're going to stick with a zombie deck, are you? Maybe Bones isn't in this game, so they made uh, Bakora have a lot of Bones cards. That makes sense. And some of these are Bakora cards. Like I said, old Bakora is known for zombie fiend stuff. Oh, 
Oh, snake hair. Maybe his a fusion is member of the gold find in like, uh, was it Skelgen? That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. You're just my bones. You're my buddy bones. You know that? Uh, lesser dragon or silver fang? We just pulled silver fang. Why not use it? All right, silver fang. I can't believe this guy has damaged us this much. I haven't felt this pain since freaking Taya Gardner. All right, snake hair gets defeated just barely. The only card I should be afraid of if I just pretend I'm fighting Bones, which... If his deck is basically Bones, he might as well just switch his face out for Bones. Um, I would say that I need... Uh, maybe just a Tribute. Oh my god, oh yeah, Dragon Zombie would be the one thing to be afraid of. A Clown Zombie? Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh man, I need to get some Clown cards. They're Metal Raiders, so I could get them. Now, I do have an MST in my hand, and it's been asking to be used every two seconds, so I'm glad I can... Oblige it. Let's just get rid of that card. What was it, though? It was a trap, and it was... Seven Tools, a classic good card. Not something I wanted to deal with, but a classic card nonetheless. Yeah, we'll throw out a Lesser Dragon. Lesser Dragon is not so lesser that it can't do some damage. But Cora almost did a thousand damage to me. He needs to slow down a bit. I don't want to take a thousand damage in my first episode. That's disgusting. 1850, okay, okay. Again, I just got saved that I freaking top decked, uh... Oh, This is why we run Magic Jammer. There we go. No, we just started with it. Alright, one of the best spells and traps. Let's get rid of... I don't think I'm gonna need swords, but you never know. Let's get rid of Frenzy Panda. Yeah, I wonder what card he threw away to do that. Oh, another trap card. Now I'm interested. Pot of Greed! What a top deck! I love that the starter decks have Pot of Greed. They should. Old Yu-Gi-Oh! Everyone should have Pot of Greed. Um, I have game now, but obviously I'd love to win with Summon Skull. If I run into a trap hole or something, I'll, I'll you know, be sad, but whatever. Alright, no trap hole. I'm gonna go for game, attacking with Summon Skull. Oh ho ho! He has Mirror Force! Holy God. Okay, good to know, good to know. I have swords to make sure I don't take damage. I don't really need to play it now, but I'll play it now just to see if he has it. Before he gets Magic Jammer or anything. Okay. I didn't know my boy was running a Mirror Force. That's pretty good. Ooh, I got a Black Pendant. That's also pretty good. Especially with this life point count. Oh, he's bricking. I don't know what cards he's drawing. Maybe Polly's and stuff. Ah, oh, I'm bricking. All right. Maybe he has the same hand as me. And they all rely on your opponent playing a card. Okay. Well, that's wow. That sword does not last three turns. All right, Swords is not programmed to last three turns. Good to know. Fiend Kraken guarantees me game, because even if I can't win with Fiend Kraken, I'll win with Black Pendant's effect. The burn portion of it. So if they find some way to kill my Kraken, or if they steal it, I'll just Regeki it and win the duel. End turn. That makes sense, though. They probably have Change of Heart. That's what they've been waiting to play. Ah, I win. Get wrecked. Black Pendant just got destroyed. So, 500 burn. <laughs> Bakora is down. Heck yeah. I lose. You're really good, aren't you? I have to get my hands on one of those upgrade packs. Yeah, yeah, they're one of these things. Uh, let's go Mystical Elf again. She was pretty good. And Warrior number one. Okay, I have every card I need to fuse. I just need Polly. Goblin Secret Remedy is not worth putting in the deck. Terra the Terrible is actually probably worth putting in the deck. So let's do that real quick. We'll just put Terra in here. It's right at the bottom since he's a T. All right, put it in the main deck, go to the main deck, go to R2, normal cards, by attack points, roll down the list, and don't worry, there are some d cards worth keeping just for the defense points, but Anthrosaurus ain't one of them, that is for damn sure. Get in the freaking trunk. All right, deck edited, let's go to campaign. Yugi Mudo, everyone! Hi, I'm Yugi Mudo. Did you just start playing Duel Monsters 2? In this game, you get all kinds of cards when you win duels. That's why you want to face as many duels as you can. The more you win, the more powerful your deck becomes. Alright, let's go with Scissors. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Going second. That's disgusting. I don't know, just the... When they draw the cards, it's, it's really cool. Heart of the cards. Let's see. There's a Tribute monster. That's pretty good. Change of heart into a Tribute. They do have a face down, though, so I feel like when I play a card, they're going to be able to pop it. Um, let's find out what they're ru running with first. Let's use Fire Yarrow. I'm going to see if I can get rid of a Mirror Force early, since the last guy had a Mirror Force. Freaking Bakora. 
Yep. Oh my god. I, I thank god I saved my resources. Um, I don't need to play swords right now. I could, but I'd rather just take the damage and see if he tributes. Hi, Mammoth Graveyard. That is a classic Yugi card. I love that. There's Big G, everybody. Remember my shiny one that was gold? And then silver when it fully evolved? Sword Arm Dragon. Okay, I got a classic Rex Raptor card. Same power, but better defense. Um... I don't really want to write Geki right now. I don't really want to change a heart. You know what? I'll change a heart. Why not? It's fine. Let's change a heart, but we're not going to take the face up. We're going to take the face down, because it could be one of the effect monsters. It is! Oh my god, get wrecked! Alright, by flipping this card, yes. I wish to return, not Penguin Soldier, this card, and no, just the one. Oh my god, he has a legendary card like Penguin Soldier. And you think I'm joking! Penguin Soldier was a beast back in the day. It was literally one of the best cards, and I can't wait till we pull one. If we pull one, it's going into the deck. This, this series is going to be a freaking walk down memory lane for all of you. Especially since... Oh, yeah, Karibo! Of course he did. Especially since a lot of you are not from my meta of Yu-Gi-Oh! And this is probably as close to when my meta was. This is when the clowns reign supreme. <laughs> Up to Invasion of Chaos? Hell yeah, clowns were, clowns were on top of the world. Of course, I gotta pull those clowns. But what are you gonna do? Frenzy Panda? Alright. We know that's probably a Mammoth Graveyard with terrible defense, so let's just take it out of here. Ah, I called it. And finally, Sword Arm of Dragon, get in there. Good job, Classic Rex Raptor card. And I'm so happy. This game just, it's just old Yu-Gi-Oh, it's classic. And I'm fighting Yugi. That's exciting. Oh, shit! Holy crap, he polyed! We got to see Guy the Dragon Champion in the first episode! Holy crap, I wish I had changed our heart still. Just to have that card. Oh, what the hell just happened to me? Can I get Snatch Deal? That'd, be, that'd make me so happy. I wish I could summon such a cool card. It's such a rare card, though. It's an ultra rare. Alright, I'm forced to ride Gaki. I'm glad I held on to it. I can't believe he summoned one of his strongest cards, if not his strongest card. That is so cool. Um, let's go ahead and use Minomushi Warrior. Yeah, you're pretty good. You're pretty good, Yugs. Even in my series, the Master Era, you were so good I had to put you into early retirement. And I know you're loving it. That's pretty awesome. What an what a interesting duel. Thank god I just happened to start the duel with some of the best spells in the game. Okay, Trap, but he already Mirror Force, so I'm going to assume there's not allowed to be two. Maybe he runs TT, though, and do I have enough damage showing? That's 3,050? No, I do not. Alright, well, let's say he does have TT, and let's just... You know what? We just pull Terror the Terrible. Let's play it. Terror the Terrible is here. And let's knock some uh, sense into you. I'm going to use Terror the Terrible. Hey, he doesn't have a trap. He would use it. Either that or it's Magic Cylinder and he's waiting for my my biggest monster to attack him. Let's see. Nope. Sword Arm of Dragon ends the duel. You win. Heck yeah, I do. Oh, what a great day for classic Yu-Gi-Oh. My god, I love this. Yep, changing the number of the cards is smart. I love that. He's giving you guys tips. Try to hold up to 40 cards. Keep a 40 card deck and you might be all right. Yeah, this is one of the problems with old school uh, Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Rare cards are legitimately rare cards. You don't get a rare card every pack. So just pulling a basic rare is special compared to a super or ultra rare. We didn't pull anything in this pack. It was just garbage. Either way, though, that's going to be it for today. Looking at our calendar, we have our weekly Yu-Gi-Oh thing coming up, and that's going to be really exciting. Still, I'll see you all in the next episode. Please remember to like and subscribe and scream in those comments if you're excited. Even if this is basic Yu-Gi-Oh, I'm going to show you the best points of basic Yu-Gi-Oh. Bye-bye, everybody.